intention of jam sessions is to um, get people in the community to play together and to come together in one spot. Um, I've always thought that jam sessions are important just uh, mostly for a community um, coming together um, and different musicians meeting each other and interacting and playing different music together and and uh, that social aspect of the music is very important. Well, a lot of, uh, there's a lot of things that, that are really important about jam sessions um, as opposed to playing at home. Um, you know, we often practice, you know, the things that we need to, songs and chord changes and things, you know, specific to the music. And, uh, but there's no substitute for um, playing with real musicians and um, it's challenging and you're not always going to play in the same keys, you're not always going to play the same chord changes as you would at home, as you would um, in a uh, live setting and it gives you an opportunity to uh, play in front of people which is extremely important too. Um, so there's a lot of things, um, different tempos, different styles, um, different ways to play the song, different forms, um, and uh, the interaction, again, is a very important thing, relating to other musicians um, within the music. What should you do? Um, well, the way I learned um, is uh, I would go to jam sessions um, when I was a young kid in Portland, and I would write down all the tunes that people called. Um, you know, that was, you know, Ron Steen's jam sessions and Thera Memory and Jay Collins and these people would call these songs that were maybe not just the normal jazz songs that are called and I'd write them down and I'd go home and learn them and I'd come back next week and I'd call them. Um, so that was a, that was a really important lesson, um, was to write down the songs that people call and uh, and learn those and call them. Um, I really think that it's important for people to play songs that they know and that they're comfortable with. Um, as a leader of jam sessions for 11 years, um, I always ask what you know what people want to play, um, what they know, and I try to make sure that everybody can play a song that they know together. Whether that's a blues, as simple as a 12-bar blues or rhythm changes, or an easy jazz standard. Um, if that's what it is, that's the call, and that's what we play. And uh, I've never, never let it bother me that it's an easy song or a hard song. It doesn't matter to me. It's m more about having a good time and, and, and enjoying yourself. What I would recommend is to start, um, to start real small. Learn a song learn a couple of songs know them really well learn the melody really well that's um, one of the most important things is to play the melody well and know it um, how do you do that listen to the masters do it and copy them first that'd be a good place to start um, and you by doing that and by listening to different kinds of recordings of the same song you can kind of make your own um, ideas about um, the phrasing of the melody and how the song is supposed to go. That's kind of where I'd start. Um, there was a wonderful uh, sheet that was given to me years and years ago by Gordon Lee and it was called the Top 40 of the Jazz Jam and that sheet stayed in my wallet for 12 years and I learned all those songs and um, it was a good reference to um, for me to uh, look at and make calls um, during the jam session if I couldn't think of a song. I'd pull this sheet out of my wallet, look at it, and, and read off the names of the tunes to see what people knew. Um, that was um, a great resource. But start small, learn a couple, learn a couple tunes, go in and call them.